Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. This reading is going to be general, so it might not resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person's other signs, or you can get a personal reading for more specific information. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Alright, let's see, what is the major theme for Aquarius? March 2021. All right, we have metamorphosis and surrender. Okay, so somebody is undergoing a major transformation here. Um, I see this card also as an awakening, kind of like the butterfly that is um, coming out of the cocoon, pretty much learning lessons and being transformed from those lessons. Whatever that is, it has to do with surrender. Surrendering to a situation that maybe somebody was not able to accept or, or that somebody was bringing resistance to. All right, so that could be you or it could be your person. Let's see. For the first half of March 2021, what is going on? Okay, so for your energy, we have the Moon, the Four of Cups, and the Ember. All right, so, wow. Well, hmm. It feels like you, you're you having a lot of doubts about something, either doubts or you might be holding on to some fears when it comes to a particular person here. Either that or you, you feel like you're in the dark, like you don't really know what is going on possibly with this person. Um, you may also have some repressed emotions attached to the situation or attached to this person and this is affecting you in a way where it might be lowering your vibration it might be making you feel a little bit sad at times and you might not really understand why you're feeling this way and it could be because these feelings they are repressed you're pushing them down um, we'll get more information when we clarify but let's see what's going on with your person for them we have the hermit the two of swords and the Ten of Cups. All right. <laughs> so this is why you feel like you don't know um, what is going on. There's something you're not understanding about them um, because they're in the Hermit mode and the Two of Swords. So basically, they're keeping to themselves. I feel like they're being a little bit quiet. There might be um, some kind of an indecisive energy surrounding them, kind of like them just really not doing much and being very passive at the moment, very withdrawn. However, we do have the Ten of Cups, so this person, I feel, secretly, does hold a lot of feelings for you. And they do see you in a very, um, I'm getting that they, they see you in a very high regard. Alright, let's see what is coming up. We have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Lovers. Alright, the this is a very strong connection here. There's a very strong bond between the two of you. It could just be on an energetic level for some of you. And for others, you might have felt it very deeply um, together with your person. Alright, because we do have the Emperor, the Ten of Cups, and the Lovers. Alright, so this is definitely a very strong connection. I feel like you both feel the same about each other. However, this person here is holding back. Now, in the potential future... It's like you're both having the same wish. You both want this, this union. You both want to come together. But I feel like there might be a little bit of a waiting um, still. Let's, let's see. Let's clarify this. Let's So let's clarify the moon for your energy. Alright, we have the Six of Cups. 
Yeah, all right, really strong connection here. I feel like for many of you, you may have had past lives together, or for a lot of you, there's, um, you were together possibly in the past, and even if you weren't, there was definitely a connection, all right, in the past between the two of you. And I feel like for you right now, there's this deep longing for this connection. Even if you are together, there might be a longing for how things maybe used to be. I feel like there has been a, a shift, there has been a change. And again, there is some metamorphosis that is happening. Somebody is going to be surrendering to their feelings. And I mostly feel like it is going to be... Um, your person because I feel like they're that's why they're in the hermit mode but we'll we'll see that when we get there um, let me see what else for this movie let's get a little more information okay the knight of wands and the world there's you you're moving towards a completion of certain lessons possibly all right and it could even be related to trying to um, close out these these feelings all right that you have however at the same time I feel like you might be closing this out in a way where it's not going to be a hundred percent complete because some of these feelings are repressed and a lot of it might be because you might feel like you don't have closure with this person because you, you're kind of left feeling like you don't know exactly what is going on and so it's hard for you to close it out because you still feel like there's something possibly that you don't know um, and that the future just seems so uh, so elusive and so it's hard for you to really close this out at a deep level because of that. And I'm not saying that you should close it out. Um, it really depends. Let's let's see. Let's see the four of cups. The page of wands and the ten of cups. Yeah, this is. I mean, the the ten of cups twice. Um, we have it in their energy and then now we have it in your energy. This is definitely something that you felt was really beautiful. This is definitely something that you wanted a new beginning with or just you wanted it to progress. It was something that I feel excited you in a way um, where it wasn't just the initial infatuation excitement. It was like exciting because you felt like it could complete you. Um, and this, because it hasn't worked out in that way, it's left you feeling um, a little bit sad, ignored, or just d dissatisfied, like it just feels incomplete. And again, it's because of that, that you can't, you feel like you can't fully close this out, or that could even be an, on a subconscious level, because I do feel like you're trying to repress these emotions, trying to kind of end it, but, but there's something that's not allowing you to fully, fully um, put an end to this. There's that part of you that that still wants this Ten of Cups with this person, and that's why you feel um, dissatisfied. All right, so this is somebody that, again, like you just feel like you would really be able to connect with. <clears throat> so let's take a look at their energy. Let's see this Hermit. Ooh, wow, all right. We have, let me just move these up. The Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Alright. This person is doing a lot of deep thinking, alright? This is definitely the person who is um, surrendering here and having this metamorphosis. I don't feel like, like that is so much you, although of course you could be undergoing a metamorphosis as well and trying to surrender to the situation like I do see that for you as well but what I'm seeing here with this hermit card and the clarifiers is that this person is really trying to go deep within themselves and this is why they're withdrawn there's a lot of there's a lot of thinking about this connection and what it is that they truly want and having victory over that like this person wants to be happy um, for some of you with this Three of Cups, it could be that there is another um, relationship or commitment involved 
doesn't have to be for all of you, but I do kind of get that and it could be that this person is thinking about how to resolve this issue and what can they do in order to have this love in their life. But to, how can they do that in a successful way? How can they do that in a way where it's not going to um, deteriorate other things in their lives? So I don't know if that's a good thing for some of them. Like it could be that some of them um, just pay a little too much attention or give too much value to societal's um, perception or views of them. So that could be something that they're dealing with here. And that could be one of their um, challenges to overcome that and to really go within and, and find what it is that they truly want regardless of how they will be perceived by others, all right, or social status or something like that. And I feel like this has come up actually a couple of times for, <clears throat> for Aquarius. So let's see the Two of Swords, because it feels like, yeah, they're thinking a lot about it, but, you know, what are they doing? We have the Five of, let's see, the five of Wands and the King of Cups. Yeah, so it feels like they're not really taking action at the moment, and that's because they just feel very conflicted. Um... They're feeling conflicted because they don't have what they want. They don't have this Ten of Cups and their emotions for you here with as the King of Cups. Some of you might be dealing with a water sign, by the way, or maybe a Virgo. Um, their emotions are very, very strong for you. Like, we have so many deep love cards out on the table right now. And, and they go both ways. <clears throat> so this person is not taking action because they're feeling a lot of conflict. And again, I feel like there's other people involved. All right, with this Five of Wands. I feel like um, it's relating back to this Six of Wands that I was talking about before about um, society's perception of them, social status, and what they think is the right thing um, to be considered a success. So this is what they are currently um, battling and challenged by. So there again, there is a lot of thinking about it. There is a lot of thinking about it, and I see them just really feeling the connection with you a lot. Let me see the Ten of Cups. The Two of Pentacles, there's that thinking again, the Ten of Wands, yeah, and the Sun. There is such a back and forth between um, what it is that would truly make them happy, which is this Ten of Cups with you, the love with you, a relationship with you, a happily ever after, and their sense of responsibility. Okay, there's something that they feel very, very responsible for, or they feel like it's it's something is weighing very very heavy on them all right and I'm, I'm seeing it as a responsibility that they have which could be coming in the way and this is what they are juggling with it's like all right my responsibilities and what i have um learned is the right thing and what i should be doing versus my true happiness with the two of pentacles it's like a lot of back and forth and a lot of thinking but i do see this as a good thing because they're trying to figure it out so even though we do have the two of swords they are conflicted i feel like they're not taking physical action there's a lot of um deeper inner work trying to really figure this out and try to find a balance see they're trying to figure out how can they have what they want but also feel like like they are responsible or that they are um, living up to some other kind of an expectation and they might have to compromise a little bit on that for some of them. All right, let's, so let's see what's actually coming up here. Let's see this Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Cups. Ooh, okay. So there could be some communication coming in about um, about their truth. I feel like they're going to speak something that is very truthful to you, and it might actually be impulsive. So I'm not sure if there's going to be, you know, very um, 
significant action here, but I do feel like there might be some communication where you will where you will hear some truth from them. And it's going to, it might even feel a little bit, um, I don't know if I want to say shocking, but I feel like it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be unexpected and it's going to be concerning possibly how this person feels about you. Let me see the Three of Wands. Or you might get some indication of that in some way. You might get that kind of a message from them. Let's see the Three of Wands. The King of Wands. Let me get one more. And the Two of Wands. Yeah, okay, so again, it's like a little bit of back and forth. There's there's a little bit of a waiting or a little bit of a stalling. I feel like this person does want to... What they're going to communicate to you, it might have to do with what they want to do for some of you. There's, again, with this King of Wands, I feel like there's a lot of passion. I'm also seeing um, a fire sign here. There's a lot of passion, and it's like they... They're thinking of like a plan. There's a plan that they're thinking about putting into action. And it could even be that they take those first steps here, all right, in the coming up in the near future. But I feel it's still like a waiting. It's still like, okay, yeah, you know, I have a plan. I take that first step and then like I wait a little bit more before I take the next step. But I, with that King of Wands, I feel like they're trying to, to really take control of this situation. So it's kind of like um, they're moving a little bit carefully through it. So let me see the lovers. All right, the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. All right, what is going on here? So there's, again, it feels like with that Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords, there is a, a step that they're taking forward, but then it's kind of like taking it back maybe a little bit with the Seven of Swords or doing it in a way where it's not really obvious because there's still something here that is keeping them a little bit, a little bit stuck. But I feel like overall, this is the direction that they want to move towards. I feel like it's requiring um, just a lot of a lot of strength from this person, all right, to really untie themselves from whatever these challenges are, which I do feel involve other people in some way. But they are surrendering to what it is that they truly want, right? This lovers and this ten of cups. It's just a matter of them actually putting that plan into action. And I do see them doing that. I just feel like the message here is that, yeah, it's not going to be without any difficulties, all right? It is still, it is still a process, but it is moving in, in that direction. It might even happen in a way where it's, um, you won't really know about it with that Seven of Swords. Almost like I'm even getting like a sneaking away from whatever is keeping them bound. Like doing it in a way where it's going to be very hermit-like, like just secretly moving away from this energy here so that they can move towards this lover's energy. Okay, but it, it might take just a little bit of time for them to work out this plan and actually, actually put it into motion and finish it. All right, so Aquarius. If this resonated, let's get your final message. Okay, and keep in mind, um, time is relevant, but this is intended for the first half of March. All right, so your final card is Rejuvenating Rain. Clear the past and heal the present. I feel like this is for your person. This is what your person is trying to do. They're trying to clear these obstacles, which are from their past in order to heal the present because the feelings are there, the emotions are there, that connection is definitely there. But in order for them to move forward and to move in that direction, they do have to clear this energy from the past that is holding them stuck in that two of swords. All right, and again, I do see them moving gradually 
in that direction. Alright Aquarius, if you like this, please give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love.